Hi, everybody. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Hi, YouTube family. Hi, Tech Tech family. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Instagram. Hi, you all. This is your girl, Ina. Thank you for watching my videos. I love you. Just here to bring you a quick scripture reading. We'll talk about it, okay? How is everything going with you guys? I pray everyone is doing well. Hello, hello, hello. So my scripture reading today is going to be coming from the book of Joshua 24, 17. Hi, TikTok family. Hi, Instagram family. Hi, Twitter. Hi, Facebook. Thank you for checking in. So let's get into the word. Um, my scripture reading again is coming from the book of Joshua 24, 17. It says, For the Lord our God, he is, is that brought us up and our fathers as of the land of Egypt from as of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage and which did those great things in our sight and preserve us in all the way we're in we're in okay where in we went and among all the people through whom we pass and verse 18 says and the lord drove out from before us all the people even the armatite which the word in the land therein will we also serve the lord for he is our god 19 says and joshua said unto the people you cannot serve the lord for he is an holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgression, nor your sin. Verse 20 says, If you forsake the Lord and serve strange God, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you after that he had done you good. Okay, and verse 22 says, And Joshua said unto the people, You are witnesses against yourself, that you have chosen you the lord to serve him and they said we are witnesses okay now verse 23 joshua that's the people of israel said i mean joshua said now therefore put away said he that the strange god which i want you and clear your heart unto the lord your god and verse 24 says and the people said unto joshua the lord our god we will serve his voice we will obey okay in verse 25 so Joshua made a covenant with the people that day and set them a statue and ordinances in Shehor. And Joshua wrote this word in the book of the law of God and took a great stone and set it up there under an oak that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. Okay, so Joshua was proclaiming the word of the Lord to the children of Israel, saying to them, serve the Lord with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, spirit. Remember how the Lord brought you people out of Egypt with an outstretched hand and a mighty word. So Joshua was warning the children of Israel not to turn away from the Lord as he is, as he was speaking to us as well, that we should remember all the things that God has done for us and don't abandon him and don't forsake him and don't forget how far God has brought you from, okay? But man's heart nowadays is so hardened, they're quick to forget, okay? They're quick to turn your back away from the God that have done such a mighty work in their life. Joshua was saying to the children of Israel, the rock is the witness, and you yourself are witnesses. If you turn away from the Lord and from all the good things that he has done for you, he is going to bring judgment upon you. And he will forsake you if you forsake him, okay? So God, Joshua said to the children of Israel, do not forget, do not soon to forget, do not soon to turn your heart away from this God that brought you out of Egypt, that split the Red Sea before Pharaoh and his husband and drowned them in it because of you. Don't forget this God that fed you a manna in the wilderness when there was nothing to eat, okay? Do not forget this God that destroy your enemy, that have given you peace and rest from all your enemy, that brought you out of Egypt from slavery that you was in for so many years. Do not forget him. Do not turn your back away from God. Okay, do not forget all the good things that he has done for you. Do not forget that because of him, your life, your breathing. 
Joshua was saying to the children of Israel, do not turn your heart away from God, okay? Because you will regret it if you do so. Do not forget the great things that he has done for you. Do not forget the signs and miracles that he's done in your midst. Do not forget his outstretched arm that he spread upon the house of Pharaoh and his chariot and his husband and his ministers, how he destroyed them because of you. Joshua said to the children of Israel, do not forget that. Do not turn your back away from God. Okay, serve him wholeheartedly and you will have peace, rest, and joy. But if you turn away from him, he will cause your enemy to rise against you and destroy you. If you forget all the good things that he has done for you, God is saying to us as well, do not forget how far he has brought you. God is saying to you and I, remember where God took you from, okay? Remember all the good things that he has done for you. Remember how he has kept you up to this day, breathing. Remember, do not forget your God because if you and I forget God, he will definitely forget us. He is a merciful God. He is long-suffering, but we should not tempt the Lord and we should pray to the Lord to help us not to forget him and to help us to remember how far he has brought us and how far he has taken us. We should continue to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. When he told the children of Israel, do not forget all the great works that God did in your midst. Do not forget how God has kept you, heal your diseases, okay? Giving you hope in the future. Do not forget him. Do not serve graven images. Do not serve other gods that do not have mouth to speak or hand to save or cannot do great work. The Lord is saying, I am the Lord. Serve me wholeheartedly and you will be blessed and you will live long, you and your kids. But do not forget family. I'm speaking to myself as well. We shouldn't forget what a great God we have and how far he has brought us, how he has delivered, how he has kept us from the work of the enemy, how he's protecting us day and day. Even when we're sleeping, God is watching over us like a newborn babe. That's how much he cares about us. So we shouldn't forget what a mighty great God he is and how far he uh, He has brought us. Let's continue to remember his goodness, his mercy, his compassion, his faithfulness, okay? Let's continue to seek God and not ever forget how far he has brought us because he loves us, he cares for us, he has our very best interests, but we should not forget him and we should not forget all the things that he has done for us. Let us pray and ask the Lord and the Holy Spirit to continue to draw us closer to him and bring us near to him and he will draw closer to us as well but we shouldn't forget what a good god he is and how awesome he's been to us okay he owe us nothing but we owe god our very existence our very life it's because of he live we can face tomorrow so we shouldn't forget how far he has brought us so do not forget family Keep God first in your life and you will go far and not lack in that one. And God will supply all your need according to his riches and glory to Christ Jesus. But do not turn your back away from God. Do not forget him, okay? Do not serve other gods. Do not serve the devil, okay? God is the one that gave you and I Breath. God is the one that will keep us alive. It's because of his mercy and compassion that will not consume. His mercy are new every morning. But we human beings, we soon to forget. We soon to turn away on God. We soon to forget all the great things that he has done for us. We shouldn't forget how far he has brought us. We shouldn't forget how he has kept us from the works of the enemy. We shouldn't forget his love for us. We shouldn't forget his faithfulness we shouldn't forget how good he's been he's continued to be to you and i so don't forget it guys just here to remind your family keep god first don't forget how far he has brought you and i see you in my next video i love you for watching be safe go with god and don't forget his love for you <laughs>